안녕하세요. Hello K friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Eun Suk Jung. It's always great to see you again. While my family lived in Suwon, South Korea, sometimes we went out to have a special cuisine. It's called the pork bone stew, 감자탕. It's a spicy Korean soup made from the spine or neck bones of a pig. It typically contains potatoes, boiled napa cabbage, perla leaves, green onions, and perla seeds powder. Because it has many ingredients and spices, kamjatang has a very deep flavor. Let's get started. Soak the pork bones in cold water for about 2 hours to remove blood. You can use backbone or neck bone. Change the water in the middle. Wash it clean under running water like this. Place the pork that has been soaked in a bowl. Put 5 sliced ginger pieces. Blend the pork bones in boiling water for 10 minutes. If you boil the pork bones in boiling water, you can remove some of the meaty odor. Put 20 whole ground peppers. 10 minutes later, drain the bones and wash it clean under running water again. In particular, wash the bones thoroughly. If you thoroughly do this, the broth becomes clean. Add 12 cups of water into the pot. Add 3 slices of ginger. Add 1 onion. Put the pork bones in the pot. Boil it for about an hour over high heat until the meat is tender. Add 1 teaspoon of salt to the boiling water. Blanch the napa cabbage for about 5 minutes. Add wash well in cold water and squeeze out the water. Or you can slice into a bite-sized pieces. And one tablespoon of red pepper paste. Add one tablespoon of soybean paste. Mix it well. If you don't have enough napa cabbage, you can use washed kimchi. Cut the potatoes in half. If you cut the corners of the potatoes with a knife like this, the potatoes will break less even if you boil them for a long time. Cut the green onions. Slice the perla leaves into appropriate sizes. Slice chili peppers. This is optional. Let me make the seasoning. Add 2 tablespoons of red pepper powder, 1 tablespoon of red pepper paste, 1 tablespoon of soybean paste, 2 tablespoons of minced garlic, 5 tablespoons of fish sauce, 4 tablespoons of cooking wine, a bit of ground pepper. Mix all the ingredients well. Wow, the color of the broth is just so creamy. Remove the onion and ginger. Add potatoes. Add a napa cabbage. Add the seasoning that you made in advance. Cover the lid and boil for another 30 minutes. When the potatoes are almost cooked, add about 4 tablespoons of perla seeds powder. You can especially taste the savory and light flavor of kamjatang when perla seeds powder is added. This is a very important ingredient that you can find on Amazon or in certain Korean grocery stores. Add green onions, add chili peppers. Lastly, taste it and if it's blend, use the salt to season to your taste. Put the cooked kamjatang in a bowl to make it easier to eat or turn on the portable stove and put it in a pot. If you add the soft glass noodles on top, it will be even better. Very delicious kamjatang is done! To be honest, cooking kamjatang seems pretty complicated as it requires many ingredients. However, it can be a very special Korean cuisine for your family, particularly in winter. I hope you enjoyed my episode today. If you think my program was useful, please push the like and subscription button. Have a great day. See you next time. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.